I've created 10 laws that govern money. My first law is in order to accumulate wealth, you have to first believe that you are worthy of it. This law encapsulates a profound truth about the relationship between self-perception and financial success. I interviewed Seth Johnson, a guest for my podcast, The Business Growth Pod, a few months back, and he shared a story about the importance of believing you are worthy of wealth. Seth told me that throughout his childhood, his dad, who had very little in terms of financial resources, would tell him, Seth, Always remember, Johnsons don't get ahead. Johnsons just get by. Seth explained that it took years for him to remove this limiting belief that held him captive. He said that once he realized that Johnsons and anybody else who believed so could indeed get ahead, his life changed. At the heart of wealth accumulation lies a psychological component, self-worth. The belief in one's worthiness of wealth is a driving force that shapes behavior and decision-making. Psychological theories such as Bandura's self efficacy theory suggests that individuals who perceive themselves as capable are more likely to take on challenges and persist in the face of setbacks. In the context of financial success, this means that those who believe they are deserving of wealth are more likely to engage in behaviors that promote wealth accumulation, such as investing, risk-taking, and continuous learning. Moreover, the power of mindset, as popularized by Carol Dweck's concept of a growth mindset, plays a crucial role. A a growth mindset, the belief that one's abilities and intelligence can be developed, is closely linked to the concept of self-worth. When individuals believe they can grow and improve, they are more likely to embrace challenges, including those related to financial endeavors. This mindset fosters resilience and adaptability, qualities essential for navigating the complex world of personal finance and investment. Sociologically, the belief in one's worthiness of wealth is influenced by various social factors, including cultural background, education, and socioeconomic status. An example of this is Seth's father. Societal norms and values play a significant role in shaping an individual's self-perception and their views on wealth. For instance, in societies where wealth is highly esteemed and associated with success, individuals may be more inclined to believe in their worthiness of wealth. Conversely, in cultures where wealth is viewed skeptically or negatively, individuals may struggle with the concept of personal wealth accumulation. Education and awareness also play a pivotal role. With podcasts, YouTube videos, and other free resources, access to information has never been easier. The more knowledgeable individuals are about financial principles and practices, the more empowered they feel to make informed decisions about their finances, reinforcing their belief in their worthiness of wealth. The first law, which is in order to accumulate wealth, you have to first believe that you are worthy of it, highlights the intrinsic link between self-belief and financial success. This belief is is grounded in psychological principles and influenced by sociological factors. Ultimately, the journey to wealth accumulation is as much about cultivating a mindset of self-worth and potential as it is about mastering financial strategies. The reason why this law comes first is simple. If you don't obey it, the other laws will be rendered powerless.